everyone? It's Mitch from the Brew Lab again, and today we're talking about mocha pots. Uh, we love them. I love them. Clearly, I love them. Let's make coffee in one, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm going to show you how I do it at least. Um, there's a million different ways to do it, as in recipes and bits and pieces, but I'm just going to show you how I do it, and you can go from there. Um, I'm also going to use the induction plate adapter for anyone that doesn't have gas or hot plate or the other types. Um, so you can make this absolutely anywhere. If you can light a fire, you're good to go. Don't do that in your kitchen, please. Um, we're gonna do it on the two cup today because four cups a little bit too much for me to drink on my own after the amount of coffee I've had today. So that'll do. So we're gonna go and take a seat and we're gonna make some coffee. All right guys, so we've got our induction plate and our induction plate adapter ready to go. And I have gone ahead and loaded the mocha pot with water and coffee. And I'll show you how easy that is to do while this plate's warming up. Water into that guy, to the bottom of that little valve you can see there. The better quality water you use, the better quality of coffee is. You guys already know that. And I'm not gonna coffee nerd. I'm not gonna do it. All I'm going to tell you is one little thing, all right? About 12 to 13 grams of coffee in a two cup. That's it. That's as coffee nerd as I get, all right? I promise. And this is to prove a point that you don't need to measure. You don't need a time. You don't have to do these things. You can make a coffee anywhere really, really easy if you can light a fire or if you've got electricity. That's it. Coffee into that guy. It's pretty simple. I don't need to explain it. Do not tamp the coffee. Um, everyone in Italy just cheered like they won the World Cup when I said that because I've seen way too many people press down the coffee like it's an espresso. This is not an espresso machine. It doesn't have nine bar of pressure pushing. So don't do that. It's only going to ruin your coffee, okay? So water in, coffee in. You can flatten it with the back of a spoon. That's about as hard as you should push, okay? Just level. Please don't push. It'll ruin your coffee. Place that in there. Give it a good wipe around the edge to make sure there's no coffee excess uh, sitting on there. Otherwise it will not seal against that white rubber seal, uh, which we'll talk about later. Come back to that on a little subject. Then you screw the units together and that's ready to use. Tighten a little bit, don't go crazy. Uh, and then we're ready to pop it on there. Now I have I've very, very rarely used induction for a mocha pot. Um, so Let's not judge too much, okay? I'm gonna make a coffee. We're on about a medium temperature. Um, I'm gonna start a timer purely just for my own sense. You don't have to. Um, from my experience on the fire, generally you'll start seeing coffee come out of the spout in about two minutes. Um, I've never done on this, like I said, or very, very rarely, and I didn't time it. I literally just put it on there, walked away, drank coffee when I, when I came back and it tasted good. Proving my point, you don't have to coffee nerd to make a good coffee in a mocha pot. They're simple, there's very little technology involved to make them work. It's as simple as that. So while that's brewing or warming up or doing whatever it's going to do and we'll find out in a few minutes is I want to tell you how to clean this thing because it's very important. Make sure you clean inside that pretty self-explanatory and dry. It's made of alloy, the whole thing's made of alloy. You have to dry everything or it will oxidize, look like crap, taste like crap. Make sure you clean it and dry it. That guy there, blast it with water from both sides. It'll actually force any bits in or out, wherever it needs to go. And then this guy here, a lot of people think it's only one part there, but there's actually three, okay? Pop that white seal out, give it a wipe, and then that little basket actually comes out as well, the part that most of the time says made in Italy on it. And that doesn't mean it's not made in Italy if it doesn't say that, okay? It's just a weird production thing that they do. Um, we won't go into that. Um, make sure it's all dry. Reassemble those. I recommend storing them separate. Um, I don't mean store them separate, as in don't tighten it down as if you're using it, and you'll actually end up uh, the seal itself will last longer, that little white seal. It is replaceable, but we don't want to replace things that we don't, shouldn't have to. So if you clamp it down and store it that way, you'll actually damage the seal faster. Um, it's, it's, it 
whatever. It's a couple of bucks. It's not the end of the world. Um, and that's about it. Make sure it's dry. Store it. It's easy. Um, I've got friends who have got one of these who they've had the exact same one for over 40 years, they claim. Um, and I'm not going to say they're wrong because I kind of believe them. There's nothing on it that can break. And it looks like it's about 40 years old because they didn't clean it properly. It still works. It still works fantastic. They've replaced the seal a couple of times. We're brewing some Quattro Costa Rica single origin pea berry. Sounds super complicated, but it's not. Uh, Quattro is the brand, you know those guys, everything they do is amazing and it's from Costa Rica, you know the place Costa Rica and because it's from one place, it means it's a single origin, single origin that originates from one place, that's all that means, it's not a weird hipster Newtown thing, it literally means it's from one place, <laughs> simple right? Um, and it's a pea berry, now pea berry is not a word you'll hear very often. Um, it's a little bit more of a rare style variety of bean um, or plant and it's actually a smaller coffee bean, hence the name pea berry. Simple as that. That doesn't mean anything crazy. Um, so we're brewing this guys. We're going to come back to it as soon as it starts actually showing some coffee and we'll go from there. Alright, so we're now producing some espresso coffee. Um, now a lot of people like to get that glory shot of the crema coming out. You're not always going to get that with a mocha pot. Um, it takes a lot of temperature control to get that. Everything has to be, the, the stars have to align. Don't stress about it. It makes good coffee. It does it really well. It does it easily. Um, you know, that's about five minutes of work, including heating up the plate. So um, there's your coffee. It's as simple as that, guys. Um, make sure if you bought one of these for Dad for Father's Day, Send him the link and show him how easy it is to make it because even I can do it and I didn't really do much. I literally put water in, coffee in, put it on something hot. Coffee came out. Once it's done, turn that off. I think that's off. I'm still making sounds. Pour it into a cup. Now, if you're like me, you drink it straight once it cools down a little bit. Uh, of course, you can add water, you can add milk. You can add sugar, you can do all of those things and that's completely fine because that's how you like your coffee. There is nothing wrong with how you like your coffee because that's how you like it. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, not even me. If I give you shit about drinking soy milk, it's because I like to entertain myself. Um, that's about it guys, that's how you make a coffee in, well that's how I make a coffee in a mocha pot and... oh. That is actually really good. <laughs> it's actually really, really good. Um, that's actually much better than I expected for the brew time. It did go a little bit over, I'm not going to lie. Um, you should normally be completed by about three and a half minutes on the water, uh, on the heat, sorry. And that went closer to about four minutes, I think. Um, I didn't check exactly before it started showing some coffee. But that actually came out so good. So good. Oh, oh, lots of flavor, lots of fruity flavor from that, guys. Um, oh, I'm gonna stop the video just so I can actually enjoy this coffee. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers for watching. Send this video to your dad. Make sure he knows how to make a coffee for you next time you visit him when all this crap's over. Thanks, heaps, guys. Cheers. Bye.